the time of Jesus Christ, the gospel of the early church rose up like a fire. This is why the religious leaders of that time, such as the Pharisees and Sadducees, criticized and slandered Jesus even though he did not commit any wrongdoing. In the same way, nowadays, religious leaders have their guard up against the people of Zion. So today, let us examine the Word of God with a sermon titled, What is Different and What is Right? The truth that Jesus brought to us is the gospel that we are keeping today. However, during the dark ages of the medieval times, all the truths that Jesus Christ taught began to undergo changes. Then, can our church that keeps the original truth of Jesus Christ and the churches that keep what has been changed ever be the same? We can never be the same because we are completely different from our very root. If we are different from them, would God say we are wrong or they are wrong? We need to confirm about this matter through the Bible. Some ask, why is it that you don't celebrate Christmas? Why do you not keep Sunday worship? Don't you think that it is strange that the whole world does, but you don't? When people say such things, we need to ask them, just because we are different, does that automatically make us wrong? When there are two different sides, shouldn't there be a standard to determine which one is correct and which one is wrong? That standard must be the Word of God, which is in the Bible. If we do not follow this as the standard, then we will surely be wrong. However, if we follow this as the standard, then that must be accepted as being correct. Let's turn to the book of John, chapter 5, verse 39. Jesus said, You diligently study the Scriptures. What did Jesus tell us to do with the Bible? To study it diligently, because you think that by them you possess eternal life. These are the Scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. The Bible is a standard which provides us the way to eternal life. Therefore, isn't the Bible, which is composed with the Word of God, the standard to judge whether something is right or wrong? The reason is that God is the Savior who can surely redeem our souls. Those who have a different standard are different from our Zion in every way, their teachings, their practices, and so forth. Then, because we are different from them, does that make the truth of the Church of God wrong? Of course not. We must look into these matters and see whether we are putting God's words into practice or not. Nowadays, we are keeping the Sabbath day and observing the Passover, celebrating all the feasts of God as well. According to God's standard, none of these are strange at all. They are natural for God's people hoping that all the children of Zion throughout the whole world will follow this correct path and enter the eternal kingdom of heaven without fail, I would like to conclude today's sermon. Thank you very much.